What's up everybody? I have a Nexus 5X phone that is currently boot looping. It powers on. You see the Google logo, then it powers off and it keeps doing this over and over and it won't load the phone's operating system. In this video, I will show you how I fixed this. Essentially what's happening is that the phone cannot load the Android operating system. This is usually a hardware related issue. The Android operating system is stored on the memory card of the phone. In the case of this phone and many other devices, the OS is stored on an eMMC type memory chip. This chip is soldered onto the motherboard through an array of solder balls arranged in a grid, also known as BGA or ball grid array. You have one of two issues here. A solder issue with age or dropping of the device, the solder on those balls can crack and break and the device can't access the data on the eMMC chip or a dead chip issue. With a dead chip, the chip has failed and you need to replace the eMMC chip. Let's try to fix the solder issue first. The best method is to reflow the solder balls using heat and flux. Reflowing is essentially melting the solder balls so they can recreate the bond between the chip and the motherboard. Let's give this a try. I have a cheap $40 hot air station set to 400 degrees and I'm using some flux paste to help reflow the chip. I place the motherboard on a silicone pad that is from an old silicone tablet case. Then heat up the chip for about 30 to 40 seconds. I let it cool down, then I clean up the flux and put the phone back together. In this case, it looks like I wanted to start up the OS, but it froze. And it went back to boot looping. I think the eMMC chip has failed and it needs to be replaced. In my situation, if I wanted to get this phone back up and running, I would need to buy a new eMMC chip and flash the stock operating system on that chip. Luckily, I still have the memory chip from my mom's old Nexus 5X that had a power issue. That phone never boot looped, so the chip should be fine and it should still have the Android operating system loaded on it. I rebuilt the chip using solder paste and a stencil. I didn't record that part because this is my first time doing it and I didn't know if it was going to work. I used flux paste and heated the chip at 400 degrees for about 35 seconds. I let it cool down and then put the phone back together. Look at this. The motherboard is reading the eMMC chip and loading the operating system. I entered a password from when I set up the phone for my mom and it worked. Unfortunately, my mom's data was inaccessible. I pressed the reset phone button and the phone performed a factory reset of the OS. No more boot looping. So if you have an Android tablet or phone with a boot loop issue, try reflowing the memory chip first before replacing it. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up, leave your thoughts in the comment section, and I'll see you in the next one.